Difficulty right. level. Uh, so it's up, up to you which one you want. Hardest. Uh, not for final fight, for uh, Warriors of Fate. Okay. So you want to do Warriors of Fate first? Um, that's the best one, so it's your call. You do something else first. Um, final fight's classic. Battle circuit. Uh, I should just do King of Dragons. King Dragons? Like, I don't have that much time to like finish everything. There's already 10 minutes. Or... Oh, wait, time you gotta go. Maybe 11? So, yeah, about 55 minutes. Okay, okay. So, so. If we're gonna actually play that, play through Warriors of Fate, that's pretty much all, all the time that we got. Can we do two? I'll mm -hmm. do. Can we do two games? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're gonna die pretty soon in the other one anyway. I'm gonna do Battle Secret. This is, a, this is a cool looking game. Is that the hardest? Although I've never played it before. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh. We have a limited time. Yeah, just need to sleep early nowadays. Oh. You got it. Okay. Change the difficulty settings. Do you know how to change it? I think it depends on the game, though, right? No, no, you can change it for all the game. I think you have to change before you go in, actually. How do you do that? Right in the outside menu when you're choosing the games, you actually have So I don't see like player game version, team settings. Oh, here you go, difficulty. Do you put it all the way up to 10 stars, to 9 stars? Yep. 8 I, stars? Yep, that's what I do. That's crazy. <laughs> even, even back when I played like all these games, I always played the hardest. No, I never played anything else. No life bonus. Start to continue. Let's just do no to no continues. Or, uh, yeah, okay. You really want to do eight stars? Not six. Hmm? You really want to do eight stars for all? Sure, sure, whatever. How about six? Not six. Yeah. Honestly, we're not even going to look at finishing this game anyway, like this one. We're just trying it out, right? So, it doesn't matter. Either way. Yeah. No, I'm going to finish it. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, let's do Battle Circuit first. And you have to press start, like, within a certain amount of time. Also, it's going to select the character for you. Okay. Wait, where, where, where am I? You have to start now. You choose that weird or that you like to Yeah. Go ahead. Alright. Okay, we got Cyber Blue. You choose that weird, the most conventional looking out of all these weird guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's try <it> good. <laughs> I gotta, of course I'm gonna choose the plan. Of course I'm gonna choose the strike good. <laughs> well, you know, for me it's like either hot girl, weird looking guy. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Alright, so of course, alright. Well, we have a limited time too. Interesting. Money maker unit turns enemies into coins, okay? Okay. Press AMB, okay. Uh, do we get like a. Okay. This one, we do have health bars. You know why I like this game? It's because it's weird. <laughs> Yeah, I know, you, you really, really want to play this one. <laughs> That's why I like it. Stuff, because like, it's like an arcade game came from Japan, right? It's got to be weird. Not all, eh? But yeah, <laughs> this one is. <laughs> this is green. Fair my reward, okay. Get green. I'm a talking, punching plant. Okay. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, we get upgrades. Nice. So you, it's like fighting combos or something. Not enough money, okay. No, pay money to upgrade our moves. 
I don't think you have mo enough money to buy your move. Do you? No, no. Oh, you got 50. 50 is enough to buy that one. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. You need all the, do you own all the moves? Nope, I never played this game before. You have this bundle though. Yep, I never played this game before. <laughs> you gotta try all the games out. I didn't. I only played the Wars of Fate, which well, I Well then how played. do you know it's the best one if you didn't play all the games? <laughs> well, I, I may have tried this like for maybe two minutes. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Like this one could be could have been the best one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know. I'm not into tentacles and chicks. I don't know. For for me, this uh, this already looks like the best game. I don't know what you watch in your spare time. What you watch in your spare time? <laughs> this this already looks like the best game for me. I already think it's the best game in the bundle, man. You can be a walking tentacle monster. Come on. I, I know, man. <laughs> this this way. I already know this is the best game. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Whoa. Games are arcade only because like I never played these before. Never experienced them. Especially yeah. like this one's like Japan only probably. Uh, I remember one of them for sure was Japan and Europe only. You can just you can Google the reviews. Uh, the reviews actually tell you which one. Yeah, there's like one or two of them was Japan and Europe only, and never Oh okay. Yeah. I'm presuming this one might be one of them. I've never seen it before, and I just hang on the arcade. Yeah. It might be. There's another one where you're robots too, and that one was also unreleased before. Oh yeah, the mecha one. Yeah, yeah the mecha one. That was the the, 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 the sci-fi one is uh, pretty cool. Take, yeah, the, the, take the food, take the food. I don't even eat it. Oh, I did eat it. Yeah, you took a chunk out of it already, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like you don't completely eat it. Yeah, I guess you get taken a bite and save it for your partner. The other that's, one. that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool, but that's only for the big apple. Right yeah, pretty big apple. Hey, with the Slurpee. What's that? Uh, no, you didn't get a Slurpee. <laughs> what? I think this one had a bowl of ramen or something too. Oh, we got it now. We got to beat this Elvis impersonator. All right. Now that I, I know for sure this is from Japan now. Yeah, you're, because of the fifties Americana. No, you're a tentacle monster, funny, and Elvis impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. This has to be Japan only. Well, yeah, fifties Americana too. Japan's like obsessed with that too. Yep. Oh, what's stupid? That was Elvis and Percy Bitch. Always walk up to the beach, and let me say I do. Oh, shit. You love me like a hound owl. Then you know you have me, and I know that I'll have you, and I can't it. the heart is Oh, shit. I chose this guy. Okay. Oh, I know that love. This guy's weird, too. Oh, baby, it's to you I am. He, he's like a superhero guy or something. Maybe if I made you mad, there's something I might have said. Oh, I'll be like a hound dog. The future is bright ahead. Do you have the X Men arcade game? X Men? Uh, nope, nope. Because that was never released on console. I wish I did. No, I mean, has that ever been re released? Though? I don't think it did. I would have gotten it for sure if it did. That's sad. I know, man. There's a, there's a lot of good arcade games that's never been re-released. Well, like, the stuff that like X-Men, you can understand because it's the rights, so they have to get the rights back again to re-release it one more time. Yeah, like, but it's just, like, there's a ton of arcade games that have never been, like, released outside of arcades, right? Oh, yeah, tons. Golden Axe 2. 1 and 2. Well, but I got Golden Axe 1. No, the Golden, Golden Axe one's on console, though. Yeah, but it was, like, totally dumbed down. And the stages oh. are different. I mean, like, there's, but this completely video game series that's never been released on console. Okay, right? sure, but the Golden Axe 1 in the console, totally different stages. It's just a different game. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I got the original arcade Golden Axe one on my PS3 as well. Mm -hmm. Arcade Perfect. So that one, Dungeon Dragon Simpsons, I don't know. I love to play the Simpsons one. Yeah. What if I, maybe I'll try to bring up my uh, PS3 somewhere. I have PS3. Yeah, but then I don't have it on disc. It, it's on digital download. Oh, right. Yeah. Digital download. Okay, well then you gotta, yeah. Yeah, which is a bit of a hassle because my parents, uh, I, I gave it to my parents so they can watch YouTube. But if so I get I gotta... PS5 in the future, then I might actually give them my PS4 to use for YouTube. And then, and then I might free up the PS3. Yeah, but there's, I'm not there's sure. good things about the PS3. <clears throat> One thing is that um, when you download PS4 games, it takes up too much space on the PS4. Mm. Whereas the PS3, the only things that take up space are the only thing that's supposed to take up space, like the digital downloads, right? Yep. But on PS4, it's like the regular disc games take up disc space, which is stupid. Yep. Right? So that's what I like about PS3. It's like they don't have any um, unnecessary like downloads or anything like that. Yep. It's like all the stuff in my PS3 hard drive are stuff I downloaded. Yep. So that's there's still good reason to keep the PS3, mm -hmm. right? And 
the other thing is the PS4 doesn't do anything the PS3 doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't even play Ultra HD Blu-rays. Yep. Whereas the regular PS3 could already play Blu-rays, so does PS4. Yep. But the PS4 doesn't do anything it's other than that. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid that it can't play Actually, no, it's worse than PS3 in, many, in some ways, because it can't play CDs. Mm -hmm. The PS3 can play CDs. The first original PS3, like the really expensive yeah. one, that one was actually a really high-end uh, Blu-ray player. They actually have really high-end high, high upconverting as well, upscale. But then uh, the later PS3s, the, the Slims, they actually got worse. Oh yeah, I'm a peacock, the bitch! I'm a oh, fucking peacock, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> is somebody smoking outside? No, no. But yeah, like in some ways the PS3 is better because you can actually play more things. Yep. PS4 can't even play CDs. Yep. Dumb. Yep. I gotta buy a separate CD player. Check out, uh, yeah. This brain dude. I die already. The stupid peacock's so weak. I'm gonna play it again. <laughs> bowl of ramen. Eat the bowl of ramen. <laughs> yes, you're the plant monster. Tentacles and chick! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I got more reach, but I'm slower in my movement. Okay. You also have like a spaz out kind of special move. I think I've used it. For yeah, that one. See? You have a spaz out special move. Do I lose health though if I use it? Oh, sure, but it's, it's, it's pretty. Good. It's a pretty good move, though. Just both ones together. Normally, those moves take off some of your health, but they're so strong. Oh shit! I'm a peacock in a freaking chip. So what are we supposed to do? Chip, like a chip bike thing. So we're we supposed to hit it, chase it, or what? Oh, we can shoot. We can shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah. Make it give us coins. Oh, Sunday. Okay, we need a more diamond. Jump. Oh shit, what's jump? Oh. oh shit, there's mines. Jump if you have to. Doesn't hurt them. Jump! Alright. Oh, that was a bonus area. Oh shit, it's like an X-Men. I mean seriously, she looks like she's from X-Men. <laughs> yep, she does. Uh okay, I'll be yellow. Yeah, cheetah girl, whatever. You get the apple. You get it. Yeah, you get it. Stupid. Whoa, okay. I put on a dress and it did damage. <laughs> Watch out, let me tell me. What the hell is this? It's some jellyfish move. Oh, look. I got a dress move. I put on a dress and it does damage. You're a squirrel this fall. Look at my dress attack. Okay. I think I'm dead. <laughs> so much for the dress attack. Dress attack. I got a whip. I got a whip. I can use it. Man, you know when you live in Korea and you're working? Isn't it really tiring? You gotta do night shifts? Like, like, you gotta work graveyard shifts? Like, like, a little bit? For your work? No, it's actually, I actually like, like it better. Really? Wouldn't it be, like, not as healthy? Mm, yes, but Korea's, like, the place to do night shifts, because there's so much going on at night, and you can go anywhere at night. Yeah, but Nothing's it's, closed, so. It seems so unhealthy, though, that's the only thing. Uh, yeah, of course it's unhealthy, but... Mm -hmm. But if I were to do night shifts anywhere, like, in any country, then mm -hmm. Korea's, like, one of the best countries to mm -hmm. do it. Is there's everything's still open? Like you can still go anywhere, and honestly, there's more things open at night than there are in the daytime. So, oh. so it's actually pretty convenient, and I don't have to feel bad because a lot of people do night shifts in Korea too. Like people working twenty four hours at the cafes and stuff, mm -hmm. convenience stores and stuff. Like mm -hmm. I don't. It's not like I'm the only one. Yeah, no, I don't care if it's the only one, but just yeah, it doesn't seem that healthy. Squirrel, I can make my squirrel do like super sonic attacks. Oh shit. I'm dead. Attacking this jellyfish lady. He's got like rogue jellyfish. There, there. Mm. 
We could do another game. Uh, you want to do Warriors of Eight? How long do you think that one's going to take? I don't know. It depends on us. It depends on how much we die. So we can do the hardest difficulty. Ten share continue. That's it. Uh, Let's see how far we can go.